actually we do more work than it uh, might have seemed from other presentations. I understand that I am a very um, uh, I have a I am a speaker who has um, been expected here at the end of uh, this day here because uh, it seems that uh, when we can pull out 10 million or 20 million euros uh, from nowhere then it would solve all problems I agree with uh, Minister uh, Rina Sikut that we our uh, health financing uh, lacks funds and uh, we have said that we could uh, save costs about 25 million the uh, um, ministry of social affairs said that that would be fine but Having listened to these presentations here today, I am sincerely grateful to all the speakers. I'm grateful to all the Children's Foundation, to all people who have donated money. I have many colleagues in the Health Insurance Fund that donate to these um, foundations, because otherwise we wouldn't manage. I started in the Health Insurance Fund um, about six years ago, and I remember uh, Annabelle's case. It was 172,000 euros. This was a large amount. Uh, nowadays, as we could see, large amounts are, have grown, uh, now being 2 million euros. It, it seemed to me that at the end of the day, all uh, medicines uh, end up in our uh, infamous uh, reimbursed drugs list, but it does take time. During my six years in the Health Insurance Fund, I have tried to implement the uh, positivity culture. We can get things done by opposing, but this is a more um, difficult road. Uh, but I feel that this is the road that we have taken. We are all human beings. We can't uh, decide based on an emotion. I don't know whether you want to see my slides. I can show them to you. I think the coffee break is over by now. But let's have a look at some numbers. Here you can see the amount we invest in uh, medicines. Siri, your amount started from 20,000. Or when you started in your foundation, you started from uh, tens of thousands of euros. Now uh, you pay for uh, medicines that cost millions. And there are many foundations here in Estonia, or more than just a children's foundation. For us, the foundations are like a breach between the patient who needs treatment today and the moment when their medicine uh, finally gets on the list. We have 24 billion euros uh, of funds, and I know it is a huge amount of money, but we have very strict rules for dividing this money. And once we have entered a diagnosis on our list, we have to give treatment to all people who have this diagnosis. This is um, where the foundations can be a bit more uh, flexible. Today we uh, spoke about making a list of priorities. This is something that we cannot do once we have the uh, medicine on the list. You can see here the different amounts that we have spent on uh, funding medicine, so it has increased a lot. And now we can ask uh, why we uh, haven't been able to uh, finance the dr uh, orphan drugs when we have actually contributed a lot more to uh, financing drugs. In Estonia, 6.7% of our GDP goes to healthcare. 
I remember when I started, uh, it was uh, much less. Back then it used to be uh, 1,000 euros per person. Now it's uh, 2,000 euros per person. When we have a look at uh, countries like uh, Finland, Denmark, Sweden and Norway, there actually we are uh, in a point uh, where we can afford to be. I really don't want to show you the next slide. I don't like it at all. I'm really sorry for showing it. This is our daily work. Here we have bad, very bad and horrible choices that we have to make. We have no doubts about Kavtrio being a very effective treatment. The increase in the quality of life is undeniable. And then we ask, why can't we finance it? Why are we negotiating? Why do we want to get the better price? Now uh, we are talking about uh, six or seven patients that are being supported by the Children's Foundation. But actually in Estonia there are about 50 patients who need this uh, treatment. So that would be uh, 10, billion Euro, um, 10 million euros of costs for us. But for the same 10 million euros we could help 700 patients with different diseases. Now, we say that every single human life is worth saving, and we do agree. But I'm very happy that Marika also showed us the actual criteria before. 20,000, 400,000, and so on. In order for 100,000 uh, to be uh, 400,000 and 400,000 to become infinity, uh, well, that would be wonderful. It would be wonderful if uh, the doctors could just prescribe medicines that cost 2 billion euros, but or two, 2 million euros, but where do we get the money from? Sometimes I have watched um, uh, the uh, live feed from the Estonian parliament and I have seen our Minister of Finance, Mart Verklaev, uh, in the um, speaking and I have seen how difficult it is for him. He is a very honest man. In December we had a strategy day at the Health Insurance Fund where we discussed different um, funding schemes for uh, rare diseases and other diseases. And when we said that we have a deficit, then the Minister of Finance said, I understand your problem. I just don't know where to get this money from. When we speak about funding rare diseases, then we, from uh, the Health Insurance Fund, we um, contribute 16.3 million euros. So, Siri, you said that you contribute about 4 million euros. And we also spoke about uh, this uh, 5 million euros uh, that is aimed at uh, relieving the situation of uh, people with rare diseases during four years. But I am a bit skeptical uh, in, in this question because uh, this four years is over in the year 2027. And when I asked from a member of parliament what would happen next, after 2027, then uh, they didn't say anything, but I could see uh, from their eyes that, you know, it's the election year, we'll see. So, I think that uh, it is not a fair, uh, it is not fair play. I know what uh, they think will happen. They will give the problem over to the health insurance fund and they will have to deal with this situation because we get paid for doing it. 
rehabilitatsiooni teenuseid, mida on kolm tüüpi, need tulevad tervise kassasse üle, siis näeb paremaks. We heard here uh, earlier before that uh, we uh, expect the health insurance fund to pay for the three different types of rehabilitation services as well. But it is hard for us. I don't want to complain. Uh, we lack 200,000 euros. In six years, we have many new services that we have to uh, finance. And these new services, they also uh, cost 200 million. So, speaking about numbers, we have seen a lot of numbers here today. I don't agree that we have been only proceeding things for three years. It, it's frustrating for me to hear that, that um, um, when people say that they are just a pointless uh, bureaucrats doing their job or not doing their job. But it irritates me because we don't have any bureaucrats. We have 200 people working hard and we tried to do the best with the funds we have. I know that uh, not everybody is happy with what we do. And there's always the question of something being left out. When we have a look at this chart here, then there has been a change in the number of medicines and uh, treatments. Speaking about more lenient standards, then there are two sides of the coin. On the one hand, we make the application procedure easier, but of course, on the other hand, I do admit we haven't done enough. Katrin, thank you for inviting me here. And it's wonderful that uh, I've been able to spend the whole day here. The last case that we discussed, uh, this application was uh, seven pages long and it took five months. I am in no position to say whether it could have been faster. And I am very grateful to the pharmaceutical company that we got it done. And I'm very grateful that we did find a solution for Kevin Sander. And I am sorry, Siri, that, the, uh, that it got ugly in the end. Let's try to learn from this. Let's try to do it better next time. A lot of things uh, come down to uh, communication. The example uh, that we had here, why can't people aged 26 uh, go to the health insurance fund? Why do they have to go to the Children's Foundation? I think that this is a question of communication. Maybe your doctor can just prescribe you this medicine because your age shouldn't be a determining factor here. We will help you. About um, medical assessment of drugs, indeed, uh, when we compare our system to that of the European Medicine Agency, then we uh, don't um, consider the cost of the medicine, but uh, we uh, um, have a look at the quality of life. So this is uh, the premises for evaluating cost effectiveness. We have also spoken about qualities here, and we have also uh, been saying many things that are true, but that, in my opinion, are kind of uh, half-truths. When I look at other countries, where all countries are available, and then this is not quite true. We have a tight communication with uh, Australia, Scotland, England, Canada and other colleagues who fund or don't fund certain uh, drugs or negotiate with pharmaceuticals. 
I will give you a hint. Go and have a look at the financial numbers of this pharmaceutical company. We haven't really been speaking about that here today. Maybe a part of the solution lies there. Then uh, do we actually need all uh, medicines? Estonia is small. So um, when we have a look at the charts where we have um, uh, new drugs and the drugs that we have, then uh, you mean it all depends on the size of the country. From Germany's experience, we can see that 42% uh, of medicines don't really give any additional benefits. And now my last slide. I think that with the two first cases, we did fine. If somebody thought that this was a slow process, a nervous process, with strange deadlines, with uh, our board deciding things, then I'm sorry, but this is our procedure. At the end of October, uh, we usually uh, do a, a proposition for the uh, board and then uh, it takes uh, seven days for them to decide and the changes will take force on the 1st of January. So it seems that we need, we need to maybe replace some people who negotiate. If our communication hasn't gone well uh, so far, we need to find other ways. This has been our lesson. So let's try to um, uh, be positive and focus on the positive. I think that this is um, good. Now, uh, when it comes to the Kaftrio, uh, then unfortunately this is a court case. The uh, lawyer or the of the uh, other party uh, so we do have a ruling from the um, first uh, um, judicial level and uh, the uh, lawyer of uh, the other party admitted that uh, there wasn't actually um, many, um, uh, there wasn't a lot of ev evidence that spoke uh, um, in favor of their case. So let's see how we'll do in the second and then in the th maybe in the third uh, level. And this will, this definitely slows the process of having Kaftrio and Kaludeko on the market. We really do want to have them here, but not for this price. Let's help people together. On, I give you my word, we are there to find a solution. I know that sometimes things are too slow, but we have found solutions and we will in the future. Thank you. Thank you.